Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Last time we were on the other side of the hospital, the darker side, the more plague-ridden side. Um, as we were going through the different puzzles, going through the different hot uh, hotels, different uh, floors of the hospital, uh, we ran into Maria, who somehow was, uh, you know, we were less than excited to see her, at, well, James was, thinking it was Mary, and she kind of freaked out on us, and, you know, she uh, came along with us. Uh, as we were going through the hospital, we all of a sudden were being chased by Pyramid Head, uh, trying to get to an elevator, to which Mary, unfortunately, did not make it. Sorry, I said Mary. Maria did not make it. Um... Which left us uh, and James in quite a bit of state of shock. Um, we saw Laura running outside into the actual town of Silent Hill. And we followed her. And uh, Silent Hill is not how we left it when we first entered the, the hospital. And we're running around. Not exactly sure where we're supposed to go. Uh, I also had a bit of an existential crisis last episode. Uh, you know, the game managed to actually kind of shake me to my core a little bit with, uh, how bleak everything looked, but you know what? This time, I'm all good to go. I got my, I got my Pocky, I got my Arizona drink, and I'm all good to go. There was a hole here, but it's gone now. Good to know. Alright. So we were going through here. And I'm going to be forever on my guard regarding the uh regarding mannequins. So that was locked, obviously. Can we do anything here? I hear beetles. I don't know why it hasn't set off our thing yet. Our alarm. Oh, because it's probably outside. Keep hearing it. Get this beetle at least. Uh, okay. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing here. I see you. Us. That's over there. Okay. Come on. Oh my god. Whatever. There's nothing back there anyway. off. What do you think it's down there? Like, do you think it's just, like, the sewer level? Or do you think it's just, like, an actual bottomless pit? I wouldn't be surprised with either. I see you. Oh. 
So we're going through here. I hear a telephone. Where is it? Oh, hi. Definitely a telephone. I saw you. I saw you. And that's for you. That's enough out of you. Okay. We'll get to that telephone in a minute. Just looking around. Keeping our distance in case there's a mannequin. Alright. I'm gonna guess it's Mary, our long lost dead wife. for like 10 minutes. Or perhaps you're a fool. The truth usually betrays people. You should know. The key's in the park. Defeat of the praying woman. The wrench will open the gate. The key will let loose the abyss. Oh, lovely. Well, at least we know what to expect. I thought that was a bug for a second. Like the that rag on the floor. Or whatever that is. So, where are we? Oh, it looks like we passed the area. There's a letter and a wrench. Is it here? Um. Am I missing something? Maybe I need to go through Big J's? Like, a, and head through the back area, I guess? Ooh. Having a five finger discount on med medicine. Medical drinks. Huh. 
That's all closed off. Nothing. Again, being careful for uh, the mannequins. I will take the bullets. They're here. I still don't know what these pictures are about. through here? No. Okay. So we're gonna need to go down the... down uh, Neely Street. Like, to the north a bit. But first we do get the letter and the wrench, which I'm guessing we'll have to go through here. assume there would have to be another way to go there. Nothing. That is interesting. You guys remember that uh, PT trailer that came out a while back about was it, 10 years ago now um, and like the trailer showed uh, uh, what's the guy's name Norman Reedus uh, just walking through the town of like Silent Hill this is what it looks like I mean it had a little bit more lights but like this is what the town fucking looked like man that's what that that's what this reminds me of. So watch that goddamn trailer like a hundred times, just <laughs> praying and wishing that if Konami didn't have the balls to get back with Kojima uh, to make it happen, that someone would. That's locked. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little on edge because we haven't encountered since we came on the street, we haven't encountered a single monster. So I'm a little on edge. door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmares that's fine but we still didn't get the letter and the wrench check one more time. I'll just drink the fucking bottle. I'm just gonna go check one more time in case I miss something. Oh my god, it was right there.
Well, I'm glad I came back for it. Alright, now we can continue on. Yeah, nothing there. Oh, fuck. I heard that gasp again. What the fuck? This is like, I think this is a boss arena if I've ever fucking seen one. Or not. Okay, so which way are we headed right now? Okay. So we're obviously going to Rosewater Park. So it looks like we're on the right path. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Whoa! Uh, and we're running. We're running. gonna run. We're just running. What is that constant squelching sound? Is it the floor? It's just water. Well, I'm assuming it's water. Rosewater Park, I take it. Okay, so it said the key was at the foot of the statue with the lady. I'm also going to take a look around. This is not the lady. Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Thank you, Mr. Chester. Although, um... You're, it looks like you're missing quite a few appendages there. Just... I remember reading you. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. If you go this way. I'm gonna guess no, but we shall see. Yep, no, no. Not a whole lot of. Oh, okay. Yep, it looks like that was the way to go. So it's over there. So I'm going to check over here real quick. Me and she. I think I remember seeing that last time. 
uh, when we first found Maria. Go through here? No. Okay, looks like this is the right way to go. So I believe that's where the washroom was. Holy fuck. Oh, it's Angela. Hey. Are you... Are you feeling better? This place is different from what I remember. I guess things never really stay the same, do they? Well, I guess not. I don't. I don't think she's here anymore, James. Who? Her mother? My mama? She doesn't... She doesn't want to see me anymore. Why would you think that? See you. Happy to see me? Alive, I mean. Oh. Yeah. I better get going. You still don't want me to go with you? If we stick together, we might just make it out of here. Out of where? This town. Silent Hill. No, it's fine. You didn't happen to see the little girl around here, did you? The little girl? Yeah, I... Angela? Are you alright? Angela? No. Please. That was also an original cutscene. That was not in the original. Angela looks like she's going through something pretty rough, eh? My patient buried it here. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw the thing. I fled. But the old society was sealed. No one dares to approach that place. Now I offer you the key. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Wow, that's... 
That's messed up. Historical Society key. Oh, there's more. Oh, it's just the letter. Okay. So, Historical Society is literally, like, west of here. I guess we could finally go to Octanus Fuels and Pete's Ballarama. See what's going on there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. going to take a minute for the game to kind of render everything properly. Um, we've met quite a few characters so far, and we only seem to be getting kind of glimpses of them. You know, we've met Maria, we've met Angela, we've met Eddie, and we've met Laura. Um, and... Like, it's hard to say out of all of them which one seems the most messed up. I mean, Angela, she's got... She's clearly got baggage. Um, Eddie, it's... It's hard to... Make real sense of what Eddie's deal is right now. We've only kind of seen him twice. Um, and both times... I don't want to say we kind of brushed him off, but we certainly... We certainly didn't really, you know, offer to help him out too much. We don't know what his deal is, right? And then there's Laura, little girl who's who's running around the town. Like, how did she even fucking get here? How did Eddie get here? I mean, at least Angela has some ties to the town. Because her parents live here. Or at least her mom. She said her brother and her dad were around, too. But Eddie says he's not even from this place. Um, and Laura. We know absolutely nothing about Laura other than she has ties to Mary. And then there's Maria. Who is from this town. And... Well, was from this town. And felt like she kind of knew more than she was letting on. What was that? Discover the secret of room 106. Oh, okay. Interesting. There's even a hat here. That's so funny. That is interesting. Okay. Um... Alright, so what I believe this implicates, what we just, what we're seeing right now, if you're not familiar with Silent Hill, um, the trilogy, I guess, um, this kind of is an Easter egg. It, I, what I believe. And if you're not interested in knowing, like, if you want to keep it, like, as spoiler free for yourself, maybe, like, just mute the video until I move out of this room. So, without giving. Con real context to anything. Silent Hill 3, um, you, I believe you're in room 106 at, at this motel. And there's a guy, a private eye, who has a hat that looks just like that. 
Um, and that symbol plays a huge part in part three. Uh, again, I don't want to give too much context, but I think what this is signifying is that part three happened before part two. And what ultimate significance that means, I don't really know, because Silent Hill 2 and 3 should really be in no way um, compared to each other, because, like, they have different lore. Like, again, 2 does not reference any other game in the trilogy, or the, the series, except for 4. There's a, there's a piece of lore that you find in the original game in number 2 uh, that has to do with part 4. But that's basically it. And one character is related to James. But again, only in part 4. So, yeah, that's what this seems to be all about, if I'm reading it correctly. But anyways, moving on. I'm glad I went back to check that area. That's also interesting. So, th th Maria pointed out earlier when we came in this room that, like, oh, this looks pretty good. Like, well, how do you think I'd look in it? This is the dress, or not the dress, the outfit she wore in the original game. And you could tell there's, like, a spot where Maria was stabbed by uh, Pyramid Head. That's interesting. It's, like, it's this kind of attention to detail that, again, really shows that this was such a passion project for Bloober Team. And whatever controversy, you know, people are dragging up about this game, like, you can't fault, like, you could tell Bloober Team, like, really cared. They really, really fucking cared. And whatever, whatever hate this game is getting, like, it's... I feel like it's unwarranted. It's just people with their own biases on this shit. It's like, I haven't finished a game yet, but this game so far deserves to stand on its own two feet. It's... it's so good. Okay, looks like we've gone through everything here. So are there no monsters here? I wonder why there's no monsters. Sorry, I'm just kind of searching every car. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a bug. See, we didn't come here the the first time around. I wonder, I wonder what we missed. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
something back here. Sorry guys, I've been talking, I've just kind of been mulling things over in my head. Um, like with the exception of, I mean, these big fucking walls put up, it's surprisingly, like, beautiful, like serene, you know, and tranquil. Can we actually go in here? No, we can't. What is this? Oh, I don't know where this is. Speaking of Serena and Tr Tranquil, minor tangent. Um, since we got nothing really going on right now. Um, I've been watching... Uh, this is a guy on YouTube called Trent the Traveler. He basically uh, has like a... He's one of those like guys that travel around in an RV that he's like fitted with like, you know, stove, bed, all that kind of stuff. Him and his dog, Millie, like just touring the country. Um, I love like the, the videos that he that he posts of like the, the, the nature that he surrounds himself with. You know, like he, he always like... He never goes like motels or anything. He just camps out in his RV. And it's... Man. You know... Oh. In a huge way, I kind of envy that lifestyle. Um, I'm an introvert by nature. I mean, that makes me sound like I'm a wild animal. I'm, I'm an introverted person, basically. Um, and... You know, I, I'm i not the kind of person that really likes living in cities or even, like, urban areas. Or, like, suburban areas. Um, you know, the camping lifestyle is something that, like, really appeals to me. So, I mean, I, I really kind of relish watching his videos. And don't get me wrong, it's going to be... <sighs> this town's full of monsters. Who could just sit here and eat pizza? That's really funny. That's from the first game. You were actually supposed to meet Eddie and Laura instead of the theater. You were supposed to meet at the bowling alley. And Eddie's eating pizza instead of, like, the bucket of ice cream. And and he says that. He's like, like you're just sitting here eat, pe eating pizza? But yeah, that kind of shit, uh, as I was saying, like, really, it really speaks to me. But yeah, if you guys are interested, like, his name is Trent the Traveler. I think we've looked around long enough. Just make our way over to the historical society. What is this? Nothing. Can we go in here? No, we cannot.
yeah, at the time of this recording, like, he was in Alaska. Um, and he's kind of making his way back south now because they're starting their snowfall season, like, very, very soon. Like, within the next week. And he's like, my fan's not, you know, capable of really surviving the harsh winters of Alaska. So he's cutting through, like, the Northwest Territories in Canada uh, to come back to, to the U.S., Oh shit. I can leave by not leaving if I can only leave by not leaving. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? Oh. Was that there before? Did they just drop out of the sky or something? What is this, fucking dogma? Let's say Giga Giga Computer. Alright, enough fucking around. Now let's go to the society. You guys are probably all yelling at me like hurry the fuck up. Uh da, da, da. Nah, it's fine. There's items, so what? I think we have enough. I picked up this, yeah, I picked up this jack. I wonder what it's for. Uh, and it's a key item. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll save. We'll use the same one. The new clock. So, here's a question. Why are we here? Little Baroness, Main Voyage of 1916. The Lady of the Light, the unveiling of one of two statues commemorating the local folktale. So, this was in the... Uh, oh, what was the, the Grove? Moonlight Grove? that Maria took us to? Oh, that looks... ominous. So you get for leaving a medical... a health drink in there. What are you looking at? Oh, this picture. Uh, oh. day remains of the judgment you know what's awesome not only does it look like it was taken directly from the original it looks like it's been kind of like stenciled over to give it like more sharper features Title unknown, author unknown. Okay. But this one. Wiltsy Coal Mine, established around 1850 and remained operational until the early 1900s. The mine played a key role in the revitalization of Silent Hill. 
Cool. Yeah, Silent Hill used to be a mining town. I think we read that in one of the earlier memos, like earlier on in the game. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. The hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to the area. Originally, it was little more than a shack, but has since expanded into a fully-fledged medical establishment. Cool. Oh. Well then. Former director of Brookhaven Hospital. Name scratched over. Illegible. Interesting. Oh boy. If you stare into the abyss, eventually it's going to stare back. Sand Hill Historical Society founders. Are the shepherds there and the finches and all them? Waterfront landscape, Alan Smith, date of birth and death unknown. A depiction of the local area. The style indicates it was done sometime around the 1820s, when the region was far less populated, with sparse infrastructure. Okay. Oh. Among the local legends is that of the Lady of the Light. Story tells of a woman who was accused and found guilty of witchcraft. As punishment, she was taken to a small island out on the lake, a minuscule stretch of rocky soil, devoid of any food or shelter. There, she was to suffer a slow, excruciating death as her body succumbed to cold and hunger. However, unbeknownst to the rest of the townsfolk, there was a young man among them who, having gazed into the woman's eyes, <sighs> excuse me, as bright and beautiful as a midsummer's moon, had vowed undying love for her. And she was convicted, wrongly, as he believed. He swore that he would not let her suffer such a cruel fate. While waiting for an opportunity to abscond with his beloved, every night he would sneak out and row across the lake, bringing her food and something to keep her warm. And every night, the woman would stand there on the shore, holding a lit candle to help him find his way. But then one night... When the sky was exceptionally clear, devoid of even a wisp of cloud, the young man set out on his nightly escapade. As always, he would look out into the distance, looking for the light in the darkness that would lead him to his beloved. On that night, however, the moon shone so bright and so vibrant, stronger than any candle could. Seeing the light's reflection in the water, the young man was led astray. He rode and rode and rode, following the reflected light, hoping across hope, against hope that he could reach it. He did not care for his aching arms or the shortness of his breath, utterly mesmerized by the illusory light. When his boat tipped over, the man was so exhausted from rowing, so weakened were his arms, that he was not able to swim to shore. Thus, he succumbed to a watery grave. Although left alone, the woman on the island never lost hope. She kept coming out at night and kept lighting the candle. The legend says that those looking for true love can still see the lady's light out on the lake, shining to bring her beloved home. While the story is clearly meant as a metaphor and a cautionary tale, it is to a certain extent rooted in reality, as the area has seen its share of religious persecution. Oh, sorry, religious persecution such as that of blank. Goes to the next page, and we can't turn the page. So it gave us uh, another reminder of the Lady of the Light. This game is rendering way too much like this. Sorry guys, I'm just going to give it another minute. Alright, there we go. Let's move out. Damn, how fucking deep does this go? Fucking hell.
Okay, is this one of those things I walk back up and it's like... Oh, whoops. No. But that is one of those things where it's like... It loops. No matter how far down you go, it just kind of brings you right back up to the beginning. What if I turn the light off? Oh my god. Why aren't these lights on? I know, James. Oh, about fucking die. Who does this? Into the abyss. Reach the end of the long staircase. I mean, not by choice. September 11, 1820. Prisoner number C221. Okay. What about him? Or her. We got a lot of syringes, eh? Do you have a map of this place? Because the map would be fantabulous right now. Oh. Hi. Okay, I'm sorry. Is this still part of the historical society? Are we in a prison now or something? Sure. Crimson and white, banquet for the gods. Death by skewering, an execution at the prison, death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is the prisoner's last taste of freedom. Skewering or strangling? Why would you take skewering? I mean, I guess it's potentially quicker, but you're going to be in so much pain if, it, if it's not quicker. Oh, fuck, sir. God damn it. Toluca Prison Camp, built in 1862. The camp was used to house prisoners during the American Civil War. Converted into Toluca Prison in 1866. Interesting. Oh, it's just like in the in the painting. Except it was, like, taken from up there. Well, I say taken. It's not like it's a photograph. Um. Jump. In what world would anyone jump? How is his wife Maria here? Are we even looking for her anymore? Not Maria, Mary. You know what I fucking mean. <laughs> it's like, really? Jump? Okay, back. So, he's like stealing himself now. It's like, are, are you sure? I guess so. <laughs> oh, lovely, he landed in garbage. How deep was that fall? Uh, 
Uh, we got a problem, guys. Oh. Okay, so there's that. What about this one? And this one? Watch, I'm gonna break one of these walls and a fucking enemy is gonna pop out. Okay, well... Radio's going off. Writing key? What does it say? Leadeth something. I can't tell. One five seven, one six seven, seven or six seven one, six one seven. I saw that. Finish off fifty enemies with a stomp. Where? Seven, five, seven, one. I don't fucking know. Uh, five, five, one. Seven. Maybe it's a four. Can I? Is there anywhere in the room? Five seven five six seven seven six five Okay. 
I unfortunately had to look that up. Uh, because it has to do with the numbers not covered in blood. Because the thinking is that whoever was covered in blood was unsuccessful. That, I would not have got that. That is incredibly misleading. I, yeah, I, I had to resort to looking that up, unfortunately. I'm being totally honest. Spiral writing key. We have to jump down again? Like, are you fucking nuts? Okay. Before we do that, let's finish looking around this area. anywhere near where I thought we'd land. Ooh, a drink. I will happily pilfer any and all medicinal items and or um, the weapons and ammo you have. I can't run. Who's that? Ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head and... Eddie? Oh. Uh... Hi, James. What happened here? Who was that? I don't know. It just came at me. Okay. So he attacked you. And you shot him. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He made me do it. Okay, calm down, Eddie. Any idea why he would do that? I don't know. He came out of nowhere. Not like we haven't seen anything like that. On me in the dark. I heard footsteps, so I turned back, and he was right there. And you could tell that he wanted to hurt you. Well, yeah, I mean, the way he looked at me, I just had to do it. He looked at you? I thought you said he came at you. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see it in his eyes. His eyes? Kept looking at me, making fun of me. And I told him not to, but uh, he didn't listen. Eddie, you can't. Just, you can't just kill someone because the way they looked at you. You should see your face, James. I was just joking. The guy was dead when I got here. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> well, uh -huh. anyway, I better get going. Wait. You're gonna go out there to blow? Yeah. Someone's uh, a little unhinged, to say the least. Okay, bye, Eddie. 
Can't lift the head. Oh, damn. You fucked him up good. You know, I still don't have a map of this area. What map? I will happily take it. Wait, first floor. And then death row. God, there's a lot of floors. I don't know if you guys heard that, it was extremely subtle, but I just heard, like, a loud scream. But it sounded so distant. Like a woman's scream. Oh my god. It was a woman's scream. I don't know if, again, it's ambient, or... They still haven't found him. Since he had the cabinet key, we should assume one of the prisoners got his hands on it. Get the spare from the witness checkpoint and secure the rifle before it falls into the wrong hands. Baby! Aww. Wait. Did we lose? We lost the handbrake thing. Oh no! Oh well. I guess we didn't do what we were supposed to do with it. Uh, I'm gonna save, because I haven't saved in a while. I will come back. Let's go to the chapel first. I'll check that room out in a second. The prisoners do not feel remorse. In fact, they, they do not feel themselves to be sinful at all. Even the simplest of them will try to shield themselves from the Lord's gaze with what little words they know. And so, they dream blissfully, the sinners that they are. For no matter how foul and loathsome one's existence may be, human nature abides. Padre. Dealing in drugs? Padre, I'm so disappointed. The heaviest weight. Why would you walk around with the heaviest weight? We got 160 bullets. Like, bro. Too bad I can't, like, move the flashlight around, you know? Okay, guess we got everything we needed from here.
Oh my god. They can climb up on walls now. They can fucking climb up on walls now. Fuck me. Fuck me. I can't even see the ceiling, man. That's not even fair. See that entrance there. The cells will be cleaned up by Tuesday. Make sure you get the cons to do it by then. The previous tenant has been moved to death row as per the warden's order. Tense again, guys. I'm tense. the wall. I have no idea what that says. Eyeless boar. It's 
one way of putting it. I was expecting one to be there. I didn't see it, but I was expecting it. shit again. I see you. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Just gonna wait until everything renders. So let's see if I can activate these all at the same time. Oh, it's on a thing. I can't. It won't. Okay. Where? Oh, it got back up. Okay. So I gotten everything in this area. So there's one room here I didn't get. A door. And then the other one's another animal. Is that a snake? I'm a snake. No, it looks like a dragon. It's a serpent. It's a snake. I'm a snake. That goes down. This one I haven't tried yet. So this one goes out to a yard. Oh boy, I'm gonna save. I'm missing three. Okay. The fuck is that? but once on a rope's frayed end. Choose the one justified from among the damned. Seek out their tales, think upon each sin, or let blind fate choose. Let the judgment begin. 
Aha. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here for this episode. Um because yeah, we're getting to that. To the uh the time length that I want to keep for each video, so um it may not seem like a lot, but we actually I think we covered quite a bit this episode. Um, you know, getting from uh, outside back inside uh to the historical society and then you know down to the prison. Um yeah, this is uh, one of the scarier locations of the game, of uh, the original game anyway. Uh, layout's a little bit different, but a lot of things are kind of similar. So uh, that, I have that kind of going for me. So uh, not as tense as last episode, but it still got me on edge a little bit. Uh, especially with the fucking crawling mannequins now, like the wall crawling mannequins. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. Anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.